This will take kind of priority. Yeah. And we'll do this because it's broken. Carol is in agony. She's already been waiting for more than nine months for a hip operation. Now her other hip needs more immediate attention. I fell and I knocked my eye on the cooker and I've broken my hip. She needs emergency surgery, one service that must continue during a consultant strike. We've had a lot of knockbacks with the COVID, haven't we? And this is only setting it back even further, isn't it? But um, they do a good job. The hospital's emergency department has to stay open. Christmas-style cover will be in place, but long-term, the pressure is unsustainable. Are pleased that the government and the unions get round the table and they find a resolution to this, because the people being impacted are our patients and those waiting for those elective treatments. This kit now allows us to navigate inside the lungs. Just like that. Advances in technology like this lung vision navigation tool mean Professor Mohammed Munawar can make a real impact on cutting through record NHS waiting lists. And while everything possible will be done to protect cancer services, almost all of the hospital's non-urgent care will pause during this strike. We've had several meetings in the last few weeks as to how to ensure that we continue to look after our patients. There will no doubt be impact. There will be no doubt a huge impact. Some significant, unfortunately, adverse impact. And that is inevitable. More than three quarters of a million surgeries and medical appointments have been rescheduled since health workers strikes began in December. The reason there's more anxiety around these consultant strikes is because hospitals are really in uncharted territory. This is unprecedented action. When the nurses went on strike or when the junior doctors went on strike, there was always cover. This time, when the consultants go on strike, there is no one to cover them. The government has given consultants and junior doctors a 6% pay rise, but the BMA has dismissed this as derisory. Can you understand why the optics of this are so bad? We're not going to see consultants at food banks the way we saw nurses at food banks, are we? This is not just about um, you know, me wanting more money in my pay packet. This is actually about the whole workforce, having a, an adequate workforce to deliver healthcare that the public expects. At the moment, we don't have that. We've got too many vacancies. Consultants are continuing to leave, and that's only going to get worse unless the government actually addresses this pay issue. There are two more consultant strikes next month and the mandate for industrial action lasts until December. By then, Carol will have one hip fixed, but her wait for the other will go on. Ashish Joshi, Sky News at Preston Hospital.